conference today, and I'd like to say good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and honored guests. I'm delighted to welcome you on behalf of the Ministry of Health Promotion to the bilateral funding announcement for Sport for More. My name is James Boyce, and I am the Executive Director of the Ontario Tennis Association, which is one of the recipients of this valued funding stream. Sport for More will allow us to facilitate the movement of thousands of elementary school children that we introduce to tennis through our Pathways for Tennis program and Give Tennis a Shot Cardio Tennis. On behalf of the board and the members of the OTA, I wish to thank both levels of government for their support of our program. We will be holding a demo after the announcements in the hall. Right now, I'd like to introduce Minister Lund to deliver some remarks. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, James. Good morning, Minister Best. Ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be uh, back to be here, and even more importantly, to bring good news about the future of sport participation uh, here in Ontario. Notre government reconnaît l'importance de la participation dans les sports d'activité physique. There's the uh, we believe sport strengthens individuals and communities by bringing people together of all backgrounds and ages. Sport also provides opportunities for individuals to develop discipline, leadership, and teamwork skills. Today, I'm proud to announce a new bilateral agreement between the Government of Canada and the Province of Ontario. This agreement highlights the importance of partnership to engage Canadians in sport and encourage Canadians to live actively. It's also a symbol of strong collaboration and cooperation between our two governments. Our government, along with the Government of Ontario, are each putting in $2.6 million for a total of 5.3 over the next three years uh, in sport participation programs here in Ontario. This will support programs to encourage all Ontarians, and particularly young people, Aboriginal people, to get involved in sport and physical activity. And I just want to stress how important young people today across Canada, on average, spend seven hours a day in front of screens, computer screens, Game Boy screens, televisions, whatever they may be. But just think about that. Seven hours a day. Young people are spending as much time in front of screens as their parents are working. So any way we can make investments to get those children active and, and out in sport and participation, I think is some of the best money that we can spend. Also recognize the power of sport uh, and working with the government of Ontario to make active living as a part of Canadian life. Working together, we have already achieved notable success with the important Sport for More initiative that promotes sports engagements. I've got a few examples here. The Track and Field Fitness Project, which provides organized fun activity sessions to over 10,000 Aboriginal children and young sport camp for kids initiative, which allow boys and girls clubs across Ontario to offer customized sport camps to over 5,000 children of young people at risk. And again, I'd like to really commend the Boys and Girls Clubs across the entire province and really across Canada for the great work that they do with our youth. We look forward to working with our, part, our partners on important projects like these and look forward to our continued success of sport development in Ontario. Thank you very much and Minister, thank, me for, thank you for inviting me to your wonderful ride. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you.
Uh, first of all, I uh, would like to take this opportunity to thank my federal counterpart, the Honorable Gary Lund, who is the Minister of State Support uh, for this uh, coming here to my riding of Scarborough Guildwood uh, for this uh, announcement. I am very, very pleased that you were able to join me today for this announcement. Thank you so much. And I also uh, would like to t take this opportunity as well to thank the Ontario Tennis Association and the Heron Park Community Centre for hosting us to a recent OMA report. The health impacts of being overweight and obesity are estimated to cost this province over $2.5 billion per year. And this figure does not even take into account the emotional and physical stress placed on individuals and families caused by poor health. Support for more has created precisely, was created precisely to engage individuals facing these types of challenges. It works to increase opportunities for participation in sport among Canada's most underrepresented groups. 19 projects have been approved for funding under this program, including projects that will give vulnerable youth the chance to participate in sport, increase sport participation in Ontario's women between the ages of 55 and 70, encourage athletes and volunteers to become involved in para-sport, and provide over $1 million to Aboriginal sport participation <coughs> initiatives, including Ontario's very successful Aboriginal Community Activator Program. We focused on sports in this initiative because it is a great way to lead an active life. Not only is it fun, but it teaches us valuable life skills, including hard work, perseverance, discipline, and teamwork. for Gold Program, which continues uh, to fund our athletes and uh, our coaches and high-performance athletes. The program provides our athletes with more access to high-performance coaching, increased training, and enhanced competitive opportunities. Since the program began in 2006, we have invested $42.9 million in high-performance sport. This investment is certainly uh, paying off. I would like to extend my sincere thank you to everyone who is here with us today. The federal government, Minister Lunn, the Ontario Tennis Association, and all of the organizations represented here. Thank you to you for your efforts, your continued support, and your continued investments in our communities. Together, we are increasing opportunities for all Ontarians to participate in sport. Together, we are providing opportunities for healthier, more active lives, and through sports, we are enhancing the life skills of Canadians for generations to come. Thank you and good morning.